Jurors could hear interrogation tapes connected to the Pike County murder trial. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joining us live in Waverly right now, monitoring the situation for us. So, Courtney, apparently there is going to be an early hearing about those tapes before the trial continues. That's right, Craig. The defense tried to play Jake Wagner's first interrogation tape today, but the prosecution said, wait, you can't do that. We have to enter that as evidence first. And the judge said, show up here tomorrow morning and prepare to argue about it, and he'll make a decision then. Now, when the defense was trying to do this, they were interviewing Ryan Scheiderer. He's the lead investigator in this case. He interrogated Jake after the state narrowed in on the Wagners as their murder suspects. How'd they do that? He said they knew the gun that killed at least five of the eight rodents was shot on the Wagner's property and a shoe the mother bought matched a print at the crime scene. The Wagner's now have become suspects in these crimes and they also know that we're on to them, right? Because we did this big search warrant at 260 Peterson Road. We did the big search warrant at State Route 41 and we did the big one at Flying W. All of those produced activity that was the media became aware of as well as the Wagners and I know they became aware of it because they contacted me about it. You don't want them together when you talk to them because they feed off of each other and you certainly, you know, so how did we do that? How could we do that at that time? That was the question. How can we get a statement from all four Wagners at the same time where they're away from each other? The Wagners were house hunting in Alaska. As they returned, agents intercepted them at the Canadian border, interrogated them, and placed wiretaps on their phones and in their vehicle. So that brings us to tomorrow. Will jurors hear Jake Wagner's five-hour interrogation tape? Will they hear Angela Wagner's two-hour interrogation tape? And how will George, the man on trial, come up in those tapes? We'll be following it for you. Reporting live in Waverly, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News. All right, Courtney.